Hi, this is Mr. Capert. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Kira file that the 3D printer needs to print your parts. You're going to put all of the plastic parts that you want printed into one Kira file. My computer is running pretty slow, so if you keep me seeing me move to this corner, it's because I'm pausing the video for a sec. So make sure you already converted all of your parts that you're going to print to an STL file. If you haven't done that, already look back at the video I posted for that. You want to open up Cura, Ultimaker Cura. So this is software that comes with our 3D printers. Boy, these are slow, huh? Now you may get slightly different error messages or warnings than I get here. Just do the best you can to and navigate through these so um, allow access obviously because I want to use this program all right and since this is the first time opening up this program um, I understand and agree Ultimaker 3 is what we have so if that isn't selected make sure you select that I'll get rid of these, get that out of your way. You do not want to do this connect wirelessly to a printer. Get these out of the way. All right, that took forever. Now what you're going to do is bring in your files one at a time. The files that you want to print, they're on your H drive. So make sure you go to your H drive. Mine are on the public. One sec. Can't see the names of things. So I have found the folder with all my parts. I got my STL files here. I'm going to start with the biggest part first. You guys should probably just copy exactly what I'm doing. So do it in the same order. So open. Notice the car looks really small. I don't know why this program does this. It's really frustrating. Um, the very first thing you want to do is click on the part so it knows what you want to do. You want to scale this, and for some reason it, it makes everything a tenth of the size it should be. So when it came in, it was at 6 millimeters. It should really be 60.325. Click away from it. So I left-clicked outside of that box, and it uniform scaled everything. Next, I want to choose it again and rotate it. Now, you wouldn't want to print like this. It would fall over. you got to realize this printer builds layer by layer, a thin layer on top of each other. And I want to rotate this this way too because I'm going to try to fit everything in on here. So make sure that you have a flat surface down. You could not print this with it rotated the other way because there wouldn't be any material to build upon. So the printer has to have something to build layer by layer by layer. And then next thing you want to do is uh, move this so it's out of the way. Grab, left click on one of the arrows. If you go too far, it'll turn that color. That's bad. That means no, no, no. Do not do that. I'm going to try to get this really far out of the way so I know I have room. All right, next file I'm going to bring in, oh, let's see. Oh, my axle pulley. Notice, really tiny yet again. Sometimes it brings it in super huge. In that case, you want to take everything divided by 10. So once again, scale should be 28 on mine. Like yours might be different, but just change where the period's at. Do a rotate. And I'm going to place this so that it's on its back. If I did this this way around, that would be bad because once the printer gets to this shoulder here, it has nothing to print on top of. So you gotta make this so that everything's flat on the bottom up against the glass plate. Now I'm going to move this as well. All right, I'm going to try to put it as far that way as I can. And then I'm just going to keep bringing in all my parts. 
make sure you're looking for your STL file. So I got my axle pulley, chassis, um, my solar panel mount. I wonder if I can bring in multiple things at the same time. That would be nice. But once again, it brought it in small. So you need to move the decimal point again. So instead of six, I got to take that times 10. And then once again, I need to rotate this so that it prints layer upon layer. Like this, it wouldn't have anything to print on. It'd be out in the middle of space. So you want to get, the, make sure these are flat too. If they're not flat like this, the printer's going to mess up. Right. So I realized at the beginning of this video when it did your chassis, some of you guys might make the air of duplicating my measurements. No, 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 no. If you did that, left click on it and go into scale and fix it. And actually, if you don't know what it should be, I would just delete this out and then retry again. So you can do, um, you can choose it, left click it, and then hit delete and bring it back in again. So make sure you're, you're not copying my numbers. You're just taking everything times 10 so far. So we've got that. We've got uh, my motor mount. And bring it in same thing scale it so it should be 10 times bigger than it brought it in so it should be move the decimal point once again I got to rotate this I'm gonna put it down like this so it's flat as possible on the plate you know what I think I was rotated a little bit Sometimes it's hard to tell whether it's flat or not that doesn't even look flat all right, there we go. Snap down to it. So you got to be careful about that. I'm going to move this so it's just a little bit further off of here. I don't want these to be too close to each other. So I'm getting close to having all my parts. Um, let's see what's next. I got the motor pulley. Now this is where things get um, interesting. This will normally bring it in 10 times its size and in this case I don't even know where it put it hmm interesting it's on here somewhere all right finally found it so you might have to search around a little bit it brings it in so small it's weird sometimes it will bring it in 10 times the size that it should be so if it happens if it comes in really huge just divide this number by 10 instead of multiplying it by 10. And you could tell, like, that's definitely not the right size. Okay. Now what you want to do is grab this guy. And um, I'm going to move it first. Oh, 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 wrong thing. All right. Now I'm going to rotate it. Make sure if you have a raised number, like this seems picky, but it really affects. I don't know why it's not doing what I want it to do. Oh, you can always do Control Z. That was definitely not what it was supposed to do. If you have a raised letter, this seems silly, but you got to have that number facing up. Because otherwise it's not flat on this glass then on the machine. Okay, you should have a second motor pulley for testing purposes. So bring that in as well. And you're going to have to search around for it just like I did with the other one. Oh, cool. It brings it in like in this area. So I'm going to skip scaling here because this is getting large. Do this. Okay. I know you guys, maybe I should do this. So I'm going to move it first, get it out of that area. And then I'm going to scale it. Way too big. Take this times 10. left click out of there notice this is a different size this one I made bigger ok 
Okay. L lastly, I have my wheels. Make sure you go and find your wheel. Make sure you, you're choosing the STL file. Once again, I brought it in super tiny and hit it over here. So I'm going to move it out of there. That way I can get to it. You're going to want to really push this off to the side because you got to get four wheels. If you have different size wheels, you're going to bring in two of each one. You'll do the same thing, but you got a, you got an extra step. You take it times 10 so it's the right size. And then I got to figure out. I can't tell where my number is. Okay, yeah. So my number, one, I want that to face up. Once again, you got to have it flat, everything flat against there. Now, depending on how many multiples you have, if, if your wheels are all the same, you're going to say multiply this three times. If they're not, maybe you just have two of the same, so you say one more copy. Mine are all the same. And I would try to even these out a little bit more. Make th sure things aren't too close. Like this is looking a little jammed right there. Notice how those are really close. You don't want things right on top of each other. Okay. Next, what you're going to do is go into custom here. And you want to do either fast or normal you need to stay under about seven hours so I would check normal first and if you're over about seven hours then you're gonna need to do a fast we've got to get everybody done so this is gonna to be too long on normal I'm assuming most of you guys are gonna to be too long so do fast and make sure this time is under seven if it's not under seven and let me know because that's a big issue definitely bring that up so I got fast and then build plate adhesion. We don't need that at all. So I wouldn't do brim. I would do none. Okay. All right. Lastly, this is really important. You need to save this file. Make sure you're saving it into your H drive, into that folder you specifically set up. And this is super important for when we go to print this because it's going to scroll on a tiny little screen. The very first thing you should put is your team number. And I would call this something like complete car. Really important. All right, let me know if you guys have any more questions. Hope this helped.